Okay, so it's polishing up time. Let's see what we've got here. I've actually got the guitar, obviously. I've got a wee wooden sanding block that I put together. I've got 1200, 2000, and 2500 grade wet or dry paper. It's been steeping in a wee bit of warm water and soapy liquid. So it'll help, uh, it'll help the sandpaper move along. I've sealed inside the cavities with a wee bit of true oil so it should stop the wood actually swelling up, cracking or anything. Sleeves up for this. That's your 1200. 2000. So try to make the wooden block as smooth as I can. What we're aiming for here is a nice even dullness. Once it's all dull, then we move on to the next one. Got to watch on the corners because it's very easy just to go right through the, the true oil finish so that will be done by hand steady the block Starting to come down to a dullness. There is bits that are a lot further to go. Okay, guys, so here she is. Uh, it's got pretty good shine on it just now. Ah, uh, so, as I say, I think it's about time it was assembled and actually getting used. Okay, so we do have a few finishing touches. One of them is to obviously line the interior cavities with the uh, conductive tape. So this is conductive copper tape. It's a uh, Conductive on the adhesive side, so there shouldn't be a problem there. I've used it before and it works fine. Okay, so what we're doing here is creating a Faraday cage to keep out electrical interference, hum, etc. etc. So I'm just trying to get a rough size for this piece so. back to the old blue peter days with the sticky back paper in this case it's sticky back copper
So you get the ideas guys, this is what we do. There's a lot of folk that use just aluminium foil. I mean it will work, but I think it'll probably be quite messy with the glue and what have you. Um, the copper tape was really pretty expensive, I think it was about four or five pounds on eBay. Okay, so next step, it's the hooded claw. For the terminal no block. Okay, give that just now. And we have large heavy fender bridge. It's a full size US spacing in this as well, maybe not the best idea but I'll go for that. Certainly had its ups and downs this guitar. What with the the neck really, that's been the big problem. It caused it to have to get rerouted at the pocket, which caused other problems. Obviously the neck being too long to intonate didn't help. So finally getting there. The lights at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully there's no big bloody train heading the other way. I think that's about enough for that one. Right then. Now it's springtime. Well it should actually be summer because now it's the 15th of June. Uh, as I say I'm not a big tremolo man so I don't really need it to go up in pitch or anything, so I can have these pretty tight anyway. I'm using them all. It's not taking off because it's just not returning itself. Well, that is pretty solid. <laughs> Maybe I have to loosen it off a little. So now it's time to get the neck on the body. I'm going to make the mega tight so I get the scratch plate in position. Stuff the marking board that. So here's my plate that I wired a couple of centuries ago, if you remember. Here we go. The wire through to the hooded claw. Looks a wee bit last right now. So basically that has got to come to there.
yep that should do it so need to mark off some holes in this and get them bored this is the boring bit get it boring 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 bit okay sweet yourself I'm not listening anyway let's now make sure it's all lining up perfectly it looks okay for me yes from the whole wheel that's actually marking this yeah, it looks to be doing the job doing the full circle round so I can put a small pilot hole in the middle It doesn't move any. I don't want another half a dozen holes if I don't need it. So it's, always, it's really close to the edge. So we're needing some holes right in the middle of the marks. See what we've got here. Scratch plate screws. What for the soap? sure you know put a screw in so aye my old eyes aren't what they used to be son no I wouldn't decrepit nowadays still managed to bang out a wee tune on the banjo just a bit Exactly well chrome these screws look very sort of nickely topped. <coughs> Anywho, that seems to be going in. <coughs> yeah. The other strap I sorted up earlier couple months back there. That's um, it's going great guns. I use it all the time. Well pleased with the way it's performing. That's probably one of my favourites now. Here we go, so that's the scratch plate on. What next? Ah yes of course it's the jack plate. So tiny feed wires in a little here. Left these a little longer than usual. I think I will be trimming them back a bit. And here's how I'll do it just now. Until I get some sort of positioning for it. Doesn't need six pound of porridge hanging at all. Okay. There you go. 
Looks a bit up. So there we go folks. Uh, I do have to get a wee bit of polish after all that, but it's looking no bad so far. I'll have to stick some holes in the back for the plate as well, so might as well do that while I'm here. Okay, here we go. Try and get this in a reasonable position. See over there. Let me get string up. I'm not going to bother sticking that on just now because I've still got the, the claw to connect. We'll see if my soldering iron has got enough juice to do the job. That is debatable very much. It's very important to have this on it. I could just screw it onto one of the screws I suppose. Yeah, as long as I've got an earth. Or I could actually go and buy a stronger solder iron. Oh yay! It's never going to heat that block. Well here we go, I've managed to get it soldered onto one of the screws that holds the claw in place. Hopefully that will keep it going until I get a stronger soldering iron I can manage to actually solder it back onto the claw itself. Now it's time to take the scratch plate off again, get it all wired up and ready to go. Here we go, but last job here, strap button. So here we are, we're ready to rock. I've set the intonation kind of loosely just now. I'm going to leave it settling for a few days uh, to see how the truss rod settles and then uh, probably slacken off because there's pretty much no relief on the neck at all at the moment. Uh, it shows in the lower strings. But uh, I'll give it a go anyway and let you hear what it sound is like. Tex Mex pickups, Fender Tex Mex. Here we go, a wee bit of dire straits. Uh, what else would you demo a strapper? <laughs>
Okay, well, I'm sure you've got a overdrive. Okay, now, Major Hum off it with the overdrive. And uh, another popular strap man here. <laughs> Anyhow, that's that. So I've got it together. Uh, a couple other things that I'm still not 100% happy with. But uh, I'll work on it while I get the chance. Uh, thanks for watching. It's nice to see I've got a few followers now. So uh, if you do like this video, please subscribe. Cheers.